Hello everyone, welcome to The Gourmet Gentleman, where we are learning how to eat, drink, and dress well, and to the glory of God. Today we're making the Sawyer Cocktail. We'll start by adding two ounces of London Dry Gin to a cocktail shaker, then a half ounce of simple syrup, and a half ounce of lime juice. The Sawyer cocktail is unique in that it uses a lot of bitters. So we'll start out with adding 14 dashes of Angostura bitters, seven dashes of orange bitters, and seven dashes of Peychaud's bitters. Now we'll add our ice and shake it up. We'll strain that into a pre-chilled cocktail glass. For our garnish, we use a twisted lime. Not a lime twist, a twisted lime. What you do is you take a lime slice, you cut it about three quarters of the way through, like that, and then you twist the ends in opposite directions of each other and lay it in the glass just like that. You won't really be able to see the garnish at first, but as you drink the cocktail down, a nice twisted lime will be revealed. And there's your Sawyer cocktail. I am making such a mess. My goodness. Like I said, the Sawyer cocktail is interesting. Three kinds of bitters in there give it a really interesting character. Very full flavored, very complex. Of course, you get some citrus from the lime, but not a ton. The botanicals and the gin complement the lime and the bitters very nicely. This is one you really need to try if you're not familiar with it. What would I wear while drinking the Sawyer? It's a little bit of a casual kind of cocktail, something that's upscale, but not very formal. So I would wear off-white chinos with a nice polo shirt, like what I'm wearing today, or maybe a nice button-down shirt with an ascot. I would pair the Sawyer with toasted baguette with a slice of brie cheese and a dollop of apricot preserves on top. Slice a baguette and slather each slice with butter, then toast them in the oven at 350 for about five minutes. Once they're toasted, spread brie cheese and apricot preserves on each slice. The songs I'm recommending to go with the Sawyer cocktail are two instrumental guitar recordings by Cesar Manolili. In my research, I've been able to find virtually nothing about Manolili online. I don't even know what country he's from. Although I did find some evidence to suggest he may be from the Philippines. If anyone has any info about this artist, please leave it in the comments. I would love to learn more about it. His guitar solos are very mellow and are performed excellently. The accompaniment might sound a bit strange to American ears, but to me that just adds to the intrigue of his music. Menelili covers many mid-century pop songs and jazz standards, and his music is elegant and relaxing, perfect for something like an intimate cocktail party on the patio. Today's first song is from 1927, Among My Souvenirs. It was first recorded in September of 1927, and it was popular band leader Paul Whiteman's first number one hit in 1928. Among My Souvenirs has been covered by a slew of artists, including Marty Robbins, the Lennon Sisters, and even the Western singing group The Sons of the Pioneers. Famed songwriter and pianist Hoagy Carmichael played this song on the piano in the highly awarded 1946 movie, The Best Years of Our Lives. Our second recording for today is actually a medley of Maria Elena, Perfidia, and Aqueos Ojos Verdes. Maria Elena was originally written in Spanish by Mexican Lorenzo Barceletta in 1932, with English lyrics later written by Bob Russell. The English version was popularized in the United States by Lawrence Welk's radio program in the 1940s. 
Perfidia is another song that was originally written in Spanish, with lyrics later translated into English. Perfidia was also written by a Mexican songwriter, Alberto Dominguez, and was published in 1939. In the movie Casablanca, Perfidia is played in the background of the ballroom scene during the flashback to Paris. Aqueos Ojos Verdes, or Those Green Eyes, is another Spanish-language song that was written in 1929 by Cubans Adolfo Utrera and Nilo Menendez, with English translation by Eddie Rivera and Eddie Wood in 1931. It was a number one hit for Jimmy Dorsey's band in 1941 when it rose to popularity in the United States. My favorite recordings of Aqueos Ojos Verdes are by Nat King Cole and Trios Los Panchos, and of course, Look Up the Medley by Cicer Manolini. Now go enjoy your Sawyer cocktail to the glory of God, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel for more videos on how to eat, drink, and dress well. Thanks for watching.